All right, so we got Silent Hill 2 Emerging Trailers. We got two videos. Let's go. Get right into it, man. Let's get right into it. I'm ready for this game to come out. PS5 Emerging. It comes out next month. Man. It's stunning. 4K. Ooh, man. If that 4K hit crazy. If it ain't 4K, I don't want it. Oh, you need to feel the attack. Oh, okay, that's nice. I like that a lot. Threatening movement. Oh, snap. Psychological horror with 3D audio. Oh, no. Gameplay experience. Oh, I'm going to be honest with you. That's, the mo that's hard, bro. Man. Silent 2 PS4. Oh my. Please teach you. Man, let me explain something to y'all, man. Like, and I know I may be a little biased. I and mean, listen, if I come off as biased, just ignore me. Um, man, I've been playing PlayStation for so long, bro. And, and, to, and just to see them just progress. And listen, we're not going to talk about the PS5 Pro, like the prices or whatever. Um, I mean, listen, you know what? I'll talk about it in like a little in a little bit. But let me just talk about like like the progression and like the PlayStation and stuff like that, bro. Um, bro, growing up, bro, I think my first PlayStation console I've ever had was a, I had a PS3 first. Crazy, right? You would think I had like a PS2 or whatever. No, I had a PS3 first. Then I had a, a PlayStation 2 for like a month. Then I had a PS4 and then PS5, etc. Like, bro, like, in my opinion, right? Like, bro, and maybe it's just me or whatever, but I always felt like, uh, because if I'm being completely real, right? Xbox 360, quite frankly, is like is like my top three just favorite consoles of all time, and the reason was it was because of the, uh, it was because of like the controllers. I've always had like big hands or whatever, so like the Xbox controller always fit my hands perfectly. When it came to the uh, to the PlayStation um, controller, it it looked absolutely amazing, but like I don't know, it felt it felt weird. I mean, obviously as I got older, I kind of like adjusted it or whatever, and uh, it, it feels pretty cool, but like. Um, if I'm being completely honest with you, bro, like the PlayStation 3 controller, uh, was, was pretty cool and stuff like that. The actual console, bro, oh my goodness, the, bro, comment down below, if you, if you ever had a play, uh, PlayStation 3, what, like, uh, version was it? For me, I had the slide, um, like the slide PlayStation 3, man, that's the best PlayStation, bro, I don't care, bro. I, I know a lot of people had, like, the big, like, the big fat, the, the big bloated, the big obese, uh, PlayStation 3, which is, you know, it's okay. I think I had that one later on. But uh, my first ever PlayStation 3 I ever had was the slide version. Oh, my goodness. that Bro, that listen, that was on, like, the same aura level as, like, the John Cena spin belt. I promise you. The, 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 it was, like, on the same level. But, um yeah, bro, I, I literally love the PS3. The PS2 was just legendary. But at the same time, bro, it was something about the PS3 that really, like, I don't know. It just looked pretty cool, especially with, like, the, with the whole slide thing. The PlayStation 4 was just, the PlayStation 4 blew me away. It was absolutely amazing. You could just click, you could, bro, you could just, like, click at the top of the PlayStation 4. It would turn on. Oh, my goodness gracious. And then the PlayStation 4 controller had the light at the back. Brother. And then you would have, like, games to where, like, you would have to use, like, the touchpad. I remember for, like, Until Dawn, you would use the touchpad to, like, turn the, um, you use the touchpad to, like, turn on a flashlight, I think. Or you, uh, you use it to, oh, no. You use the, uh, you use the, um, the touchpad to, like, uh, go on your phone and turn on the flashlight. Oh, my goodness. And, bro, like, obviously, like, I'll use Until Dawn again. You have to, like, you know, keep your controller still, like, uh, you know, and, and if you move, the light will move. And all of a sudden, like, you're just dead in the water. So um, I do love the progression whenever PlayStation, you know, definitely went through whenever it came to, you know, the the, um, the abundance of features in the PlayStation 4 controller, just in the controller alone. Like, well, I'm not even talking about the actual systems yet. Um, PlayStation 4 system, bro, oh, my, bro, I think you had, like, you started off with, like, a terabyte. Um, 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 what else? Like, you, you, I think you had, what, 60 frames, start off with a terabyte. Uh, I believe everything was like what 1080 whatever you guys gotta remember the PlayStation 4 came out what 2014 I think so obviously, you know, they didn't start off with like 4k, you know graphics or whatever uh, I think it, I think the highest graphic setting was like what 1080p um, it, it was just classic and then like the um, like the home screen for to the P, uh, PlayStation 3 uh, sorry PlayStation 4 Oh my goodness. You get to see like all like the game tiles and stuff like that just in big squares 
that is such legendary. And then we got the PlayStation 5, bro, where everything is more like it. I, I feel like whenever you're playing a game, like especially like whenever you're playing like a, like a story mode game, bro, and you got the PS5, it's like you're like in a movie a little bit, especially like whatever you got the headphones on too. Oh, yeah, you're locked in. There's where you get, listen, you cannot, bro, the, the seat belt is officially locked in, bro. Once the, once the, bro, once the instructor locks you in, bro, it's over. Now you got to just take the ride because I promise you, bro, whenever you play like a scary game or like a story game with the full headphones on, uh, with the controller, with all the features and settings where you can like feel every single vibration and stuff like that, it's absolutely crazy. Um, and then, bro, you got the PlayStation uh, 5 Pro. Which, if I'm being completely honest with you, a lot of the bro, the outrage was crazy about the $700 price. Um, I did look more into why it was $700, uh, why it was $700 or whatever. Now, to be fair, right? I'm not, listen, listen, listen. You guys know me. I'm for the people. I'm for the people always, okay? I'm never going to be like one of those people that are like, oh, okay, you know what? The people are always wrong, whatever. No, because at the end of the day, everything is an opinion, you know? Um, I can see why there was like a lot of outrage whenever it came down to, you know, the PlayStation 5 Pro being $700. But you have to imagine this, bro. There's no more, there's no more, oh, performance or quality. There's no more, like, there's no more choices anymore. Whenever it comes down to, uh, you can only have this or you can only have this, bro. You can have the best of both worlds. Whenever you pop in the game, you can have the graphics and you can have the performance all in one. The amount of power a console have to like the amount of power uh, like like the amount of technology like a console like it we've never seen that before like the console literally has to like adjust to pushing like the most frames at one time and also like pushing the most like graphics like i'm not the most graphics but like pushing like the best graphics of all time so if you could push the best graphics and the best frames just to make the game look absolutely good and just to make the game visually look absolutely good bro bro like that's that's hard to do and if you look at like the equipment bro i can listen i'm not defending <laughs> i'm not defending sony here but i see why it's 700 dollars, bro it, it's it, it's like legit a mini pc it's legit like a mini pc inside of a console it's like a, it's like you have the console a powerful console and it's like you just put like a just a, a pc into it that's literally what it is and to be honest with you um, I see why a lot of people were outraged from it, but let's just say it's not 700 for no reason. Okay. It's not like it's, it, listen, it's not like the PlayStation five pro is $700 just because, um, just because it has more frames. No, it's not even just more frames. It's also better graphics. Yes. It's also more frames. Yes. It's also, you don't have to pick anymore. You can have both. You, have, you can have the best of both worlds. It's, it's legit like you have, bro, it's like you have a, a GTXR or whatever uh, graphics card inside of the PlayStation. Like, bro, it's crazy. So, to be honest with you, um, I see why it's $700. But I see why people, though, you know, complain about it. Because, bro, you know, money's tight, bro. Looking at, our, looking at you know, our economy now, bro, you know, a lot of people don't want to spend that $700 right now. But guess what? Let's be honest, though. Like, they go, listen, they still going to buy that. They still going to buy it. Like, let's let's keep it real, bro. Let's not act like some of y'all, you know, didn't get scammed off the PS5 uh, whenever it first came out in 2020. And, and y'all were sending, you know, random dudes $1,000 <laughs> and they will block you and you never got a response. <laughs> It's not funny. I promise it's not funny. But, bro, let's not act like, come on, bro. Let's not sit here and act like, you know, oh, $700 for a console? I would never. But then y'all end up sending, you know, uh, you up sending this random guy that's saying that he got a, uh, that he's saying he got a, a $900 PlayStation 5 for you in 2020. And you just sent the, the, you just sent it. Without no background checks or nothing, you just sent the money. And now look at you looking stupid. Bro, negative 900. That's what you is. Negative 900. So I don't want to listen. I don't want to hear nobody say nothing because last time I checked, bro, a lot of people got scammed buying fake. P <laughs> a lot of people got scammed buying fake PS5s, bro. Look, <laughs> bro, I remember, bro. Oh my goodness gracious. I remember, bro. I think there was a guy on YouTube and I think this went trending like in 2021, I think. This is when like PlayStation 5 was like so rare. Like every time there was like a PlayStation Five like um like like window to get one, it would immediately like be sold out because like bro people were trying to get one and obviously you had like resellers that were just 
buying up the PlayStation 5s just to sell them for more, which is, you know, they're resellers, you know. Um, and so I remember this guy, I think he spent like, he got duped. Like, bro, he, I think he spent like 1100 1200 for a PlayStation 5. And again, I'm not, I, I'm not going to defend him. But at the end of the day, it was really rare at the time to get, you know, a PlayStation 5, you know, because they weren't selling them at the GameStop. And if they were, they were selling like three of them. They were gone in like 30 minutes. There were people stalking the GameStops down. It was it was ridiculous. Um, I think he sold what he he uh, <laughs> he gave the guy like 1200 dollars $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, or whatever, and then uh, the dude sent them like a box of bread. <laughs> it's not funny. In real life, it's not funny. It's just it's crazy because, bro, I'm gonna be honest with you. If that thing does not listen. If I'm buying something from, like, Amazon and that thing does not say Sony or whatever, I'm not buying it, bro. I promise you I'm not buying it. Or I'll just order one from, like, Walmart and just uh, get it sent straight to my house. As soon as the guy as soon as the guy puts the box down, bro, I'm walking outside, bro, with, like, eight guns. I dare somebody run up on my, run up on my porch for my PS5. I promise you, bro. You're going to be looking like Swiss cheese, okay? I'm, never, I'm not really like that. But, like, bro, people are really serious about the PS5, you know? Um, but yeah, bro, like I don't really blame people for going off for, you know, the, these prices, you know, like, bro, money is tight. Um, you know, the, like, bro, the, the inflation is nasty. Um, you know, so at the end of the day, I understand, but at the end of the day, bro, let's keep it real. It's not just $700 for nothing. Like, bro, it, like it got some serious technology in here. So, um, you know, I doubt they're just like, I doubt they just put like a, like an extra cartridge just in the PlayStation 5 and just say, oh, you know what? PlayStation 5 Pro, that's it. No, I'm pretty sure there's some heavy material inside that console, which makes it $700. That's that's all I'm saying, okay? I don't want to, like, you know, argue with people or whatever. That's just what it is, man. Comment down below. Uh, what do you guys think about, man, most of these? Bro, what game do you guys think is going to come to the PlayStation uh, 5 Pro that you haven't seen yet? I want God of War. They haven't shown God of War, um, you know, for the PlayStation Pro yet. And I think that will go absolutely bonkers on the PlayStation Pro. Uh, so comment down below, man. What do you guys think about this, man? I know I just ran out. I, I, bro, I just went on the whole just tangent about PlayStation 5 Pro and the price and stuff like that. That's my bad. I know I haven't really talked about Silent Hill like that. But, um, bro, Silent Hill comes out next month. I'm really excited. October is going to be one hell of a month. Let me tell you that. See you guys next time out.